heart made up and so Oh, it weighs you down deeper than you know Yeah, it weighs you down deeper than you know Oh, darling, don't be scared Great. Just... Love you, babe. Yesterday I came outside. I like brought my laptop. I had a, a little blanket. I was in like shorts and a long sleeve shirt. It was so beautiful out. And I'm like, this is perfect. Dalton and Day were inside. Brett was playing Xbox. I'm like, I just want to sit outside. Dinner was done. We were just kind of like winding down for the evening. And I wanted to sit outside because I have a new website that I'm getting my like music for my videos from. And so I wanted to sit down and I I literally like go through and I listen to music and I download them and put them into folders. Not that this is important, but if you're curious, um, yeah, I just put the, the music into folders. And then when I go back to edit, I can have these specific, like this is country music. This is like whatever. So I was going to sit down and do that. I swear to you, the second I sat down, the temperature went, nope. And it like, it dropped. It got so cold. It was so windy. I'm like, this is just miserable. It was, I wanted to sit outside so bad. But I'm outside today. Got my kids to school. Day has testing today. Dalton, I don't know if he does. I think he did his last week. I don't know. Okay, hear me out, okay? Hear me out. I have this. You probably saw this in like the last video. I had it over there. Basically what I want to do is I, I want to see if I can kind of like repurpose this a little bit. Um, I think Brett got this when we lived in town. I'm pretty sure Brett got this from our old neighbor that passed away. He was just like a single lonely old guy that lived next door to us. And he was like giving away stuff to Brett because he loved Brett. And so I'm pretty sure this is from him. What I'm thinking is hear me out. I'm going to try to pressure wash this. This is also on a little stand. So when this is like on here, it slides down that like pole and then it can spin around. What I'm thinking is if I can pressure wash this and paint it, this might be kind of cool in Dalton's room if he wants to use it for all of his like art supply stuff. I just think it'd look cool. Maybe it'll look trashy and I'll just not use it in the house and I'll keep it in my garage. But if I could use this for like all of his crafty stuff or like every time he takes apart something in his room and then all of the crap is scattered all over, just throw it in here, you know? So I got, I would say a good 30% of that paint off. It got like none of it. <laughs> but I told Brett like my idea and he told me that if I can't get it off, try to get some, it's like aircraft remover. I have no idea. So I'm gonna run to Menards and see if I can figure out what to get. Cause I really, I'm so tired of like starting a project and then not finishing it like that day and then it just sits in the corner so I'm gonna run to Menards and try to just see this is like a simple thing but I gotta get the paint off so off to Menards I'm back with the goods I grabbed okay this is not the stuff that Brett told me to grab so hopefully this works it is paint and epoxy remover I hear them enough, okay? So this paint and epoxy remover, I don't know if this is gonna work. It says it works for metal, paint, varnish, wood, metal, masonry. I don't know. Excellent for smaller projects. Just don't use it on bathtubs. So I think we're good. So I'm gonna try this. I did not get any spray paint, but I did end up finding this. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen like the textured paints that you can buy. 
I ended up grabbing a textured black one. If Dalton's going to use it and he's going to be constantly in and out with pencils and all of his stuff, I feel like the paint on there is going to get worn pretty easily. So what I was thinking is if I do it like a plain black color and then I go back over it with this textured one, I'm hoping that it'll um, be a little bit more like durable. So I was able to get like that first coat off of that red thing that I was working on, but I flipped it over and then I got to do the second or like the other side of it, but it was wet. So I was, I left it outside to dry because it's really windy out. And so I have to go get Dalton the day from school. When I get back, I'm going to respray the other side and uh, like pressure wash it while they are doing Bible study. So while Dalton and Day are doing the Bible study, I headed outside to take care of our chickens. I just got them some water. We have 16 chickens still. Um, and I, we just realized we have four roosters. So if you are not familiar with chickens, you need the rooster to make the eggs fertile to turn into babies, which is, I, I know that's kind of that's pretty obvious, but we don't want roosters because we don't want the eggs to be fertile because we don't want any more babies. So that's kind of the bad part of having chickens is you literally have no idea if you're gonna get hens or if you're gonna get roosters. So now we have four. <laughs> we have, um, yeah, way too many. So Dalton and Day came back outside after their Bible study. Brett was helping Dalton work on this I don't know. He's he's always working on like wooden knives in the garage and he's getting so good at them. I need to have him like, well, I don't know if he will show you, but I need to show you some of like his woodworking that he does. He's actually really, really good at it. And then Day was also making something for her friend outside, but I came back in to start dinner. I found on Instagram this account and it's called cooking. I think it's called cooking in the Midwest. And all of the stuff that this guy does is like the, I guess the, the like kind of stuff that I make for my family too, like casseroles. It's, I don't know. It's very like Midwest recipes, which is obvious with his Instagram name, but I found this account and I have tried almost like every single recipe on here. So the recipe tonight is sheet pan chicken and veggies. I couldn't find it at the store when I was there, but the recipe called for the Parmesan garlic buffalo wild wing sauce. So it's just that same sauce that you see me putting over the chicken. And then I also wanted to make this some more bars that Daylin has been begging me to make. I kept forgetting to get graham crackers. So while I was at Menards earlier, I grabbed, they were literally like $4 at Menards, these graham crackers. I'm like, this better be so good because that's it. that was a little expensive. But this dinner is definitely going to be one that I'm going to add to our rotation whenever I sit down to do my, make my grocery list out for the week. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next one. Oh my God, shut. He's always big. <laughs>